Okay, so this is my guide to upgrading the hard drive in your 2013 to 2015 MacBook Pro with the standard NVMe drive instead of the proprietary Apple drive. The parts are rather specific though, so make sure you get them all right. First, I'm going to start out with the list of items you will need, and then I'm going to explain the installation process. First is an external hard drive with at least the amount of space that your current hard drive has. You will then need a MacBook Pro specific screwdriver. These can easily be bought on Amazon, but ensure that you buy a high quality one if you plan to do this repeatedly as the one I bought for 6 bucks easily became stripped after only a couple of uses. You will then need a MacBook Pro drive adapter. I bought one of these which can be found at the link below and have had no issues with it thus far, however there are other options available. You also need a T5 screwdriver and a USB flash drive that has a bootable copy of Mac OS. If you need to create one of these, the link for the instructions to make one can be found in the description and it should only take a couple of minutes to create one. Last, you need an actual hard drive that you plan to install. The specifics of this are very confusing, but I chose to go with the Samsung 970 Evo. I'm sure that there are other options out there that also work, but the forums on the Amazon pages showed that the 970 Evo is one of the most popular drives and people have had minimal issues while using it. Just ensure that you buy the Evo and not the Evo Plus, which is what I originally bought and is not compatible. To start the transfer process, to the new drive, first run Apple's time machine and make a full backup onto the external drive. It can be a bit finicky, but it shouldn't be too hard to do and then shut down the computer. Then open the back of it by removing these screws and then disconnect the battery connector here. You don't need to take the whole battery out, just disconnect it. Then use the T5 screwdriver to remove the screw holding the old drive in place and then take that out. Then put your new NVMe drive into the adapter and install the adapter into the logic board. Once it is installed, reattach the battery connector and then put the bottom plate back on. There are two snap mounts in the center, so when you reattach all of the screws, ensure that they are snapped back into place as well. Then attach the bootable USB drive you made earlier and the hard drive you previously backed up to. Then start up the computer while holding the option key and go into disk manager and then reformat the internal drive to XFAT so that the installer can see it as an available location to, to install Mac OS onto and then go back to the home screen and click recover from time machine. Select the backup drive as the backup location and then the internal drive is where you want to install to. Then a progress bar should appear and once that finishes your machine should restart and you should be good to go. One final step would be to open up the terminal and paste this code into the command line. This can be found in the description and what it does is it disables the screensaver. This is done as when the screensaver is enabled it calls a power saving function which is unique to Apple SSDs and this causes the computer to crash. Thank you for watching and feel free to leave any questions in the comment section down below. Please remember to like and subscribe.